1945 to 1975. Japan-Soviet relationships are poisoned by the Soviet occupation of the Kuril Islands. Hence, the two countries have not been able to ratify a formal peace treaty since the end of World War II. 1979 to 1980, the Soviet Union increases troops and naval assets in the Kuril area. Japan retaliates by hardening its stance towards the USSR and increasing its military spending. 1982, Japan allows the deployment of U.S. advanced F-16 bombers on its soil. The USSR answers by transferring SS-20 missiles from Europe. 1983, the Japanese Prime Minister declares his intent to turn Japan into an unsinkable aircraft carrier. The reply from the USSR is immediate. In an era of modern technology, unsinkable aircraft carriers do not exist. November 1984, the joint U.S.-Japanese naval exercise Fleet X-85 in the Sea of Japan gets as close as 500 nautical miles from Vladivostok. The Soviet fleet is put on high alert. December 4, 1984, Fleet X ends, but Soviet Navy intelligence and the Politburo are convinced that it was just a rehearsal for a real imminent strike. The green light is given for a preemptive strike on Japan and its U.S. naval bases. December 6, 1984. When the coded message, Climb Mount Norodnaya, is transmitted to Soviet forces, several airborne and naval infantry divisions are ready to strike Japan. At dawn, the first wave of Soviet paratroopers lands on Japan, while a mechanized thrust strikes from the Kuril Islands. Hello guys and welcome to a new Wargame Red Dragon campaign today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you Climb Mount Narodnea and this is certainly going to be a fun one. It's classed as very hard difficulty and a lot of you guys have been giving me heads up about it. Um, I'm hoping that I can just jump into this without playing it before and do relatively well so we'll have to wait and see. Um, also I did sort of load up the campaign and just mess around with the movement of a few forces at the start um, to see what was going on in the campaign but I didn't move past the first turn so I'm going into this more or less completely blind no idea what's to come if you guys have any tips please feel free to let me know in the meantime though let's uh, read what this chap is saying to us comrade an amphibious and airborne operation in Japan is a success and Tokyo is about to fall now it is up to you to secure our western flank. Your aim is to protect Osaka whilst neutralizing at least three enemy airports. But beware, the Americans will launch a powerful counterattack in your sector. Colonel Borodin, carry on with the briefing. Thank you, General. Our first wave is made up of parachute and marine infantry units supported by aircraft carrier Minsk. Our marines can land in four sectors to the north and west. Then we will have to capture harbours and airports in order to rout or route our heavy reinforcements. The Kuznetsov Naval Group will support us from the southeast. It can transport combat airplanes, offensive helicopters, and marine or helicopter-borne infantry battalions. One last thing, comrade. Beware of the enemy pocket around Gobo Airfield or Airport. Their counterattacks can threaten Osaka if you are not careful. Understood. You have 16 days to achieve your goals, to control at least three airports, even four or five if possible. Do not disappoint us. Okay, so it looks like the objectives obviously hold three airports, but if you control all five, I'm assuming that's like total victory. So we'll try and go for that, but I can't make any promises. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into here but it looks awesome it's not it's a really like awesome scenario for sure like Russia invading Japan and what the hell's going on there but it's pretty cool let's have a look at some of our units so we start up here we've got the Spetsnaz Brigade and the 217th VDV Reg Regiment and both of these come in like airborne drop aircraft I don't know <laughs> what you would call them uh, but either way, they come with VDV with BTRDs. Uh, they have Factorias with BTRD robots. We've got Iglers with some Skrezets. That's only two v uh, Iglers, though. 
Then we have some Spetsnaz VMF. We got some Razvega MI2 um, Plamia with the uh, uh, what's that called? The grenade launcher. That's the one. <laughs> We've got four BRDM Conkers and there's also the ASU 85Ms. Okay. Then we have a naval fighter squadron here. These are Yak 141s. 60% accuracy in, and uh, on both of their infrared and radar missiles. They have 40% ECM. These guys are pretty damn awesome. We have our task force Minsk here, which has four Sovremenis, um, 12 Nanushkas. Uh, four Mooners and eight KA-27 PLPs. Pretty cool. Uh, if we ever went into a battle, the Sovremenis would be the ones to take. Just all of the Sovremenis and just like charge towards the enemy. Or maybe keep my distance and use the um, missiles there to better use. They have like 9,450 meter range, so that would be pretty damn good. Right, um, we also have a couple of marine regiments. There's one here that's hiding underneath the bow of the aircraft carrier there, the 106th Naval Infantry Regiment. These guys have Moskaya Pahota with the MTLBVs, and there's some factories in there. BDRM Strata 1Ms, which are pretty naff infrared AA. T-55 AMVs, which are kind of bad tanks. I mean, they're okay in a sense that their HGM gives them some distance, but like versus other tanks, I think they're not that great for their price. Um, PT seventy six Bs, um, BRDM twos there for recon. Najin, Nanushka, and Schmel for the marine landings. Okay, then we have the three hundred ninetieth Naval Infantry Regiment. They have Moskaya Pahota Factorius. I think these are pretty much exactly the same, except from these guys have TO fifty five and Sturms. And they have some T-55s in U-Kings, some Euros in U-Kings, and then Najin, Nanushka, and Schmelz. Do these guys have any naval landing troops? They don't. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So how would we get... How would we win a battle with this 106th Naval Infantry Regiment if we don't have any troops that can land from the water? I guess MTLBVs are amphibious, so we could do that. Yeah, most of these units are amphibious, other than the T-55. So we'd have to, like support a push from the water with the Najin and the Nanushka and then have the MTLBV and BTR-70K take forever to get to the land. Okay, so that's how it will have to do. In Osaka, we have the Independent Tank Regiment. These guys have T-72As and T-72B1s. These B1s are actually pretty nice because of their high AP power. 18 AP there is pretty damn good. Um, we have some Tunguskas, which is nice. Uh, BRM1K and BRDM2, but only like two recon in the entire regiment, which kind of sucks. Um, Ninth Guards Rifle Regiment is Motorstrelkin BMP2s. BMP2s are decent. Um, Barusas, BRDM2s, and UAZ there. Both of them, again, low availability. Recon's going to be really difficult to deal with with both of those uh, regiments there. Okay, as for enemy forces well there is quite a lot so I'll probably talk about them as we reveal them but if we have a look at uh, Obama we can see the Nanion Shiki CV they've got Hatcha Ni Shikis as well um, Nanion Shiki A's and Nanion Shiki C's these are really cheap tanks 35 and 40 points apiece uh, low armor but decent guns so that's what I'm going to be worried about with those um, 17th Infantry Regiment, they've got a lot of cohesion, Shuju Bantai, um, M67 Hands, both come in and, uh, San Chikis, which isn't too bad, Mitsubishi M2s and Mitsubishi Mats, so those two units there are kind of bad. What about Ngobo? Oh my, they have some Kayu Marushikis, of course they do. 23 AP power these things have, 70% um, accuracy. And they've got those supported by Hachi Nanashikis, which are pretty nice units. Shuji Buntai M67 hand there. And then they've got some Mitsubishi M2s. Got some more M67 hands and Renzu 106 mils. Um, Hudu Ren in KV 107s. Okay. OH60s and OH60 toes. Okay. Interesting. There's a lot of cohesion between these forces, that's for sure. Right, now we'll jump into our reinforcements and have a look at these. So we have the Task Force 
Kuznetsov, which is a aircraft carrier that allows us to deploy reinforcements to the south. We then have the Minsk Air Group, which can deploy, I think, on the aircraft carrier. So yeah, their first naval strike squad, which is the Yak 38Ms with four 500 kilogram bombs. And then we have the second naval strike squad, which is four napalm bombs. As for land forces, we have the Guards VDV Division. These guys can't be landed anyway yet, I don't think. Oh, actually, maybe they can. They can come in at uh, Naval Sector Bravo, I'm assuming in one of these planes, and uh, join us in a sector. They've got VDV Conkers, BRDMs, BRDM2s, and ASUs. Okay, so pretty similar to the other ones. Um, first Independent VDV Battalion. These guys have eight Iglers, that's quite nice. Um, might be useful to have those in support of my other troops um, because we don't really have much AA in these as far as I'm aware. Let's just uh, select these. There's like barely any AA. So both of these will have to probably land together just so that I can have the Iglers and Skrezets there deal with any aircraft we come up against. But what I'll likely do is end up moving my navy towards the shore and we'll reveal what's there and then we'll move our... Um, Specialized Brigade and 217th, respective to that. Okay, other than the those two, we have the VDV Supply Company. Again, I think all of these can, yeah, all of these can come in up here in planes. So we've got a VDV Recon Company, VDV Regiment, the 1065th VDV Regiment. How many regiments do they have? Oh my god. Okay, that comes in with. 16 Iglers. Okay, this is more AA based for sure. That's quite a nice regiment there to support the regiments we already have. Um, second Independent VDV Battalion has Conkers, Conkers M's. Okay, nice. Um, then we have the Minsk Marine Brigade. They can deploy wherever the carriers are, I believe. So these guys have T55 AM2s and Conkers M's. So they can bring in some T55s and U Kings. And we also have some UAZs in Conkers and Nanushkas and Schmelz. That's quite nice. A naval Anti-Aircraft Company, again, has some Schmelz, um, but can bring in Berusas and Strellas on U-Kings, as, well, as well as those on shore. A naval Supply Company, doesn't really have as much cohesion as I'd like. I'm not entirely sure how useful they'll be. Naval Anti-Tank Battalion, um, these guys have T-55s again, but they have a lot of Factorias and Robots. And then we have the Sturms there and Conkers. Nanushkas, U-Kings. All the good stuff, right. Then we have the Guards Tank Division. I think these, oh, these can deploy at Osaka, okay. So we have the Anti-Aircraft Company, which have Strela 3s in BTR 70s. Then we have the Guards Anti-Tank Battalion, which have Conkers, BRDM Conkers, and SPGs. We've also got Conkers in BTR 7s. And then we have the MLRS Company, which is Urigans, okay. Interesting. Right. Now, what I think I need to do is get the task force Kuznetsov in early on. I think naval forces are going to be pretty important, especially to possibly deny reinforcements from the Americans. So we'll bring in task force Kuznetsov. That's going to bring in four Udaloys, uh, four Nanushkas, eight Tarantuls, uh, four Munas, and the KA-27s there. I think that's probably a good shout. Because this unlocks more stuff, yeah. So, Major, I can confirm that the Kuznetsov has arrived at the scene. It has marine or helicopter-borne troops and offensive aircraft ready to attack the enemy system from behind. We should use helicopter-borne troops for inland assaults. The Marines, the Marines could land in Nankuku or Koku with air or ground support. Beware, however, the enemy has a strong presence in this area. Okay, so we're going to move them to like Naval Sector Tango and we can reveal what's at Nan Koku. So they have an anti-aircraft company. Don't think I want to be moving helicopters into there anytime soon. Um, they've got the Artillery Battalion, which has 75 MSSRs. Um, then we have the Shuju Bantai. Um, there is Central Engineers Battalion, which is M67 Hands and Mitsubishi Mats. They got 06H or OH60s and OH60 toes, and then the third airborne battalion is Kutais and ninjas. Okay, there's one ninja there and uh, a bunch of AH1Ss. 
So there is going to be quite a lot of AA needed throughout this, but that's unlocked the Kuznetsov Air Brigade, which gives us access to the DS HV Regiment. These guys have Spetsnaz VDV and Sapri in MI-24Ds. Also got some Spetsnaz VMF there. They've got 319th Helicopter Regiment. These guys have MI-24Vs. They're going to be pretty useful actually for helicopters because they have air-to-air -air Igla missiles. Um, MI-24P is good for air-to-ground due to its Kokon missile. Uh, KA-2090B is alright, just not nothing special. And then the VP as well, which has a Kokon M, which is decent penetration for sure. Pretty expensive though. Naval Anti-Ship Company gives us K-27 PLPs, which have the K-31A, which is a pretty short-range radar missile for taking down ships. And we have the Recon Company here, which is MI-24Ks and MI-2s. Right. We didn't look at air... Oh, there's some aircraft, new aircraft as well. First Naval Anti-Ship Squadron, um, MiG-29Ks with uh, four radar missiles, but pretty short range. These aren't great. Um, they're good for anti-air because they have a nice Vimpel missile, but um, not so good for taking down ships because they get too close and get themselves shot down quite often. Then we have the... SU-27K, which has 6 out of the 300 meter range, but these don't have enough of a payload. They only have one radar missile each. Uh, you do get six of them, but uh, I feel like they wouldn't really hit very much. Actually, I say that. The AP power is twice as much, so if you spammed in these, they'd probably do quite a lot of damage. Right, anyway, that is all of the reinforcements we have access to. Now we've got to decide where we want to reinforce. So I've brought in the Kuznetsov, uh, because I'm thinking of attacking Gobo early on and just taking that. That would probably be a good idea. And I think I can probably do it with helicopters. Because I noticed when I was looking through these units. That there's not many AA here. If any. So we might be able to bring in some helicopters. Attack Gobo. And just destroy those units straight off the bat. That would be really really nice. So let's take the DSHV regiment here. Or the Dusha Ver <laughs> Regiment. I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. Just uh, let me know, guys, in the comments. Uh, you always pick me up on my pronunciation. It's fine. Um, yeah, these MI24Ds should do the job. If I sort of attack the Kaiomaris from multiple sides, we should be able to pop them. Let's bring yeah this sector in, our naval sector Tango, or this uh, regiment here. We're going to go for the attack on the Gobo early on. Major, we are in sight of the first objective. The airfield is intact, but well defended. We are waiting your orders to attack. All right, let's do it. Let's jump in. Well, they don't have any support AA, no. Uh, the only thing we need to be worried about is possibly the Nanasan Cheekies. Because they have decent machine guns. Well, I say decent. They've got two machine guns. So if I fly right over the top of the Nanasan Shikis, I'm going to take quite a lot of damage. But uh, other than that, we've got a decent amount of value of forces. We've got a decent amount of cohesion, although we're not really going to get any reinforcements because you can see that we only have Alpha to start. But what I'll likely do is bring in a couple of MI4s and uh, we'll just have them fly off to the side um, whilst we use our helicopters to clean up the ground forces or their commands and then and we'll land them again at Echo or Osaka to basically uh, bring in reinforcements. All right, let's launch the battle. Right, so don't need this fob because it's probably just going to get captured. Um, we're going to get the MI4s over here. We're going to get a couple of those in, and I'm just going to literally fly them to the edge of the map, or not the entire edge, but quite far over. Um, so that I can have them, one fly down to Eleanor and one into Osaka um, when I need to. And then in the meantime, we're just going to have a bunch of these VDV. Oh, they're actually elite, which means we get an, an elite MI24D as well. That's really cool. Yeah, we're going to have like a few of these head north. We'll have a few head south. And then we'll support those with MI4s, maybe? Might be worth just having loads of MI24Ds, honestly. Because they don't have anything to shoot them down. They're pretty tanky, so... And we should be fine. Let's bring in some spare snaz as well. Right, we'll make sure there's like yeah, six going each way. 
and we'll group them and just have them go to Osaka and knock out the command there. That's pretty important. And then we'll sweep south to Elena and take out the command there as well, as well as any on the way. Depends what they capture. Um, do we need any recon? Uh, it might be worth having some supply, honestly. Let's bring in an MI, not an MI6, an MI26. And that can fly over with my commands over here and we can have it as like a little resupply base. Um, let's launch the battle and uh, we'll have all of these guys just run away. And then we're going to spread these guys out. And the idea is quite simply to just find their command. Although we're going to have to be careful about their troop carriers. Oh, we've bumped in some Kaiomaros already. Let's turn off the weapons. I don't want to waste ammunition on those if I don't have to uh, just yet. Because I could just go around and snap all the CVs. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Uh, is that, that's it. That's one. Okay, we'll go take that out. Alright, that's one down. Oh, that's in trouble. Um, let's uh, just continue on with the ones we can. Try and get that one out of there. Don't want to use up all of my H gems if I don't have to. Oh, we lost an MI24D up here, I think, because we weren't looking. They've decided to defend <laughs> like I would. <laughs> That's no good. Actually, I don't think we lost one yet. We might lose one, though, if it doesn't get out of there. Okay, looks like he managed to just get out. Let's continue to check down here. But we haven't found the command, or have we? Turn on the weapons again. Right, that one can go to this MI26 here. I will take out the Shuju Buntai, that's fine. Oh, there's a fob. We can capture that fob. That'd be good. Right, let's not get too close to these Nano San Shikis. Okay, so far, not too bad. Oh, I think that's the command back there. Bring these ones over. If we can capture that bomb, it'd be really good, actually. And yeah, they're like charging me down with their machine guns on the Kaimaris. I think we're doing a decent job at the moment. Hopefully, oh, that's the CV. Go get that. Just gotta keep falling back. Fortunately, I don't think the AI knows the trick to like fire position underneath uh, low flying helicopters, so <laughs> we should be okay in that respect. And we take out that OH6. I think we're doing a lot of damage, which is good. Um, but we haven't found the command here yet, which is a problem because I need to stop them reinforcing. <laughs> take out those Chugatas. I think we've like run out of ammunition on a lot of this stuff. We'll be very careful. Oh, up here we need to be careful. Ah, oh, damn it! I lost one while I wasn't looking. It's annoying. Hopefully, I killed their command up here, so they're not reinforcing there anymore. That'd be good. Where is this command in Elena? <laughs> if it's like a infantry command that's in these buildings somewhere, I could be in trouble. Hmm. I'm not sure how I go about this. Let's just uh, get all of these to come back down.
One thing I might do as well is uh, sort of reload or unload some of these at like Center and Dimitri. So if we get all our MI-24Ds together here, I'll be able to do some like sneaky strikes with VDV in these buildings. Same goes here. Got to make sure that they land in cover. Good. All right, so we got a couple of VDV down, which is nice. Oh shit, that's not good. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> that was very close. Have these all land. Hopefully we can just have them resupply. Not sure about repair, if we need repair, if we're going to be attacking from a distance. A reasonable amount of damage so that's good uh, let's have these guys go kill there's what now kill that oh I don't want those toes to blow up my stuff oh that's not good oh wow we're obliterating them okay I guess they are elite after all but still <laughs> oh, that MI-24D is so close to dying. Ugh, oh, damn it. Losing these unnecessarily is really painful. <laughs> Right, we really need to find the command down here, so that's what I'm going to try and go for with these MI-24s on this side. And what we're going to do is we'll have my commands come down here as well. Look at that, we've used up all of our Yak B ammunition as well. All the yeah, and then VDBs have even used up all that ammunition. Crazy. Oh, those VDB are dead. So I'm going to turn off their weapons again. What would have been good is maybe some recon, but I don't think we have any recon to use. At least a lot of the units are moving towards center anyway. Oh, that's Spetsnaz. Oh, okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, how do we deal with this? Hmm. I need to find the command. Is that the command? No, it's not. I'm just gonna have one fly over. Uh, probably a bad idea. Not like a bad idea. Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay, maybe it was worth it after all. <laughs> right. So we want to try and. Turn on the weapons of these guys now. Turn on the weapons of that guy. Oh, we're getting like good hits onto the Kaimaris. Come on, 
one's there. Kill it. You got it. Okay, good. Oh wait, the game didn't end. Oh, there's one in Anna. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Alright. Well, we'll go and find that one then. They're not reinforcing anytime soon, so that's good. Um, but we definitely need to get our troops out of here. Especially this one that's damaged. Preferably, I want to keep as many rockets as I can. Alright, so it was up in Anna, so we'll go and fly up there then. I really wanted to capture Elena, but I don't think I can. <laughs> we'll just have to head all the way back up. Find the last command. Take it out. Both of these MI-24Ds that I've used up all that ammunition, so it's this one. So i just got to get them out of the way. This one's got some Yak B ammo. Uh, these ones are using up all their rockets unnecessarily. <laughs> and off their rockets for now. It might be useful to use these to actually just spot the command. I feel like they're going up to Osaka to like reinforce from there. Wait, what? Okay, never mind. I was like, why is there a unit on the, on the hill there? <laughs> uh, we got eight minutes to find these commands. Hopefully we can do it, because I think if we make them fall back, we just destroy them all, right? So, be one good thing at least. I feel like we're going to have to fly it directly over it though, which kind of sucks. We must have gone up to Osaka. What a wild goose chase this has been. Got my MI4s flying up there as well now. Really would have liked to have captured the FOB, but yeah, they definitely captured this. Okay, good. That means that we can zoom in there and take it out. Wanna do. Although they're gonna be reinforcing like straight away, which is kind of annoying, but is that it back there? It might be. Cause it's not in the open as far as I can see. And that must be it. And the rocket's back on. Yep, that is. Okay, that's another command dead. Did they find another one? Confused. Why have we not won? Ah, we just did. Whew. Whew, okay. Total victory. There we go. Wow. That's how we do. That was pretty rough battle but we destroyed the Kai Maru's brilliant good stuff nice catch comrade as soon as the runway is operational I strongly recommend you deploy your own aircraft roger that okay so that regiment just annihilated three of theirs including the Kai Maru's very very nice start to the campaign guys I think that was a very good move indeed Next up, we'll be moving that regiment maybe to attack a bomb because I don't think they have any air force again or any um, anti-air. Very much something we can take advantage of wherever there isn't AA. We can just use those helicopter regiments to do a lot of damage. Anyway, that's all for now, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.